Hello everyone. Okay, in this video, I will show you how to work with the uh, VLOOKUP function. So the situation we have is we have two different tables, you know, and they will, those the first table simply record the product information. You have product A1, A2, all the way to A10, and who knows, uh, you may have more than that. For each product, you have the unit cost and price, right? For example, A10 here, the unit cost is 12, and the price is 14.4, okay? The second table is here. It reports the sales each day, uh, you know, for each product so the date here is the uh, January 1st of 2010 it ended here and then uh, January January 2nd it ends here and then January 3rd so let's look at one uh, one date for example in this uh, the second of 2010 the sale for A2 is 97 sale for a9 is 95 it is a unit sale right so the number of product is sold like for uh, another for a9 uh, another sale person sold like uh, 23 unit uh, so and so forth so uh, what I want you to do is using we need to link those two tables together and then calculate the total sales for each day okay uh, if we have to do it manually what we are going to do is here is the uh, cost per unit so we look at that A2 we look up the value A2 in this uh, orange table the unit cost is 12 so we put 12 right here A3 the unit cost is 56 right 56 now you have the cost per unit and you have unit sales you can easily calculate the total cost of goods sold which is equal to 30 I mean equal to 3 multiplied by 12 right it's very simple now instead of lookup manually you can easily tell Excel to do so using the function VLOOKUP so let's do it equal to okay let me zoom it in equal to v look up open the parentheses now look up look at here you have look up value table array column index number so the look up value is a2 you want to look up value a2 comma and then table array so you need to select the whole orange table you see a2 to a2 to c12 and then you are you want to look uh, for cost all right so the cost here is in the second row in that table array why because here's one first column second column and third column so what you're looking for is for cost so you need the second column you know so now I know it is not complete but let me close the parentheses and hit enter so you see yep a2 is 12 yep a2 is 12 it's good let's copy and paste or uh, move your cursor to the right corner and then double click oops why this like that oh okay let me double check Highlight it. You see that the A3 is still running when we drag. However, the the reference table now, you see, it move, which is wrong. We need to hold that table lock. So how can we do it? We lock that the table at A2 and C12. Uh, yes, sure. It is the uh, absolute reference, right? enter uh, do it again so let's check a356 yep a356 a596 
A596 seems good. Now A10. Hmm, A10 is supposed to be 12, but for some reason it's, it have an A right here. Uh, we have to fix it. Go back to our formula at the end of second column, you know. There's, mm, uh, comma and two, you put a comma, you see there are two choice, one is true and one is false. So you need the exact match, so you type false. Yep. Hit enter, and of course, after hitting enter, you have to copy or drag everything again. Now, here we go A10 is 12 dollar cost, right? So, like over here, A9 is 1, A9 is 1. So, I'm cool. Uh, cost per unit. Okay, we have the cost, and now we have the price per unit. Okay, price per unit. And of course, we use the VLOOKUP once again, equal to VLOOK, VLOOKUP, open the parentheses, which is your lookup value, that cell, right? And again, the call uh, the table array still on the same table yes you can choose uh, the header as well it doesn't uh, make much difference now uh, here oh, sorry. you have to put the absolute reference the dollar sign on it comma now for the column index which column you need one two or three of course the third one right because you're looking for price third one and then we know that we need to put the condition false in. Sorry. Done. Now let's check. A2, the price per unit, 14. Yes, it is. So now I simply double click. Yep, let, let's see. Okay, A10, 14.4. Yep, 18, 14.4. A7, 36. A7 36 price. So now you see what we have done is you look up uh, the cost or price for each unit from the other table link, and the link is the product code, right? Yep. So now you can easily calculate the total sales or total revenue and total cost. Uh, total cost what is the total cost equal to of course it is nothing about Excel right total cost equal to unit sales multiplied by cost per unit and then you have the revenue equal to revenue equal to the unit sales multiplied by price per unit that's it oh. You can call. Yep. So over here, it is day one, it's day two, and it's day three. Yep. Uh, when you take the uh, revenue minus cost, what do you have? The cost profit, right? Yep. So yeah. Forty-three minus thirty-six. So profit on that day is like is this. So, based on that uh, table, you can easily calculate the total revenue, total cost, or total profit, you know, for each day. And, uh, of course, with those information, you can easily make up a chart. Uh, you can, uh, I mean, for example, if you want to look at the uh, total profit, so it is sum of all profit, right? And over here is equal to sum of all profit. And here equal to sum of all profit on that day. You know, from the currencies. So, of course, you cannot get a chart uh, 
if all the number falling apart like that so it is always better for you like um, putting a summary table over here you know with the uh, date on it so over here you can uh, date so uh, second ten third two hundred ten yep there could be date profit I don't know maybe uh, I, I I don't remember what I require you to do in the homework but basically uh, you can get everything in one summary summary and now from this you can create your own chart you know so that is all for vlookup thank you bye bye